Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to add or remove images in products in your Magento system. With Magento, you can add and remove images from your products easily. Also, you can select which images show as the main image, the small image, and also the thumbnail images, plus you can organize them in an order which makes sense to you and your products. So in this tutorial, you're going to learn how to upload images to Magento, how to set the base, the small, and the thumbnail images, how to exclude an image from showing, and finally, how to remove images from your Magento system. And with that said, we're going to jump across to our Magento system, and we'll see you there in a few moments' time. So Dave, we've started off with a product which only has one image available on it right now, but we've got numerous other images which we would like to add to this product in Magento. And the good news is, this is really straightforward to do. Good, I like straightforward. So let's jump across to our Magento administration area, and you need to go to catalog and then manage products. Now the product which we're after, we know is at the top. But if you want to edit any of the products in your system, just make a search using the name or any of the other search options at the top. Once you've found your product, click into it. And then from the left hand side where it says images, click on images. Now, Dave, if I hover and roll on that image, we can see that we've only got one image on here right now. But let's say that we want to add more images to this product. So let's click on the Browse Files button on the right hand side. Now, Dave, as you can see that we've got lots of additional images which we would like to add to this product. So I'm going to click on the first one. I'm going to hold down the Shift key and I'm going to click on the last one. You could also press Control A on your keyboard, which would select all of the products, or you can hold down Control and then click on any of the product images to select or deselect them as desired. Once you've selected your images, click on Open. Now, a crucial step here, and it's the mistake which I always make, and Dave see me make so many times in these tutorials, is that if you don't press Upload Files on the right-hand side, those images will not be uploaded to this Magento product. So let's go and click on Upload Files, and we can see them uploaded in the background. If we then hover our mouse on these images, so let's just scroll these down, excellent, we can see the different images which we've got here now. Now, Dave, let's say that we didn't want this product image as being the main image for our website. Instead, we wanted to choose the lifestyle one down at the bottom. So this one here instead. To make that the main image which appears on our website, we want to choose this first radio button, which is the base image for Magento. So you can see this column here, it's called base image. We've also got selections for small image, and thumbnail. Now it's also worth noting that Magento will resize these images automatically in the background. So you don't need to resize the images and you should try and upload images around 16,000 pixels wide and preferably square as well. But obviously that does depend whether you're able to find those images or whether you're being provided those images from your supplier or if you have them available. Let's scroll back down. We're also going to set this lifestyle image for the small image and also the base image. Now, Dave, let's say that we didn't want that chair image, so that single image here, to be shown on our Magento website. What we could do is that if I scroll back up, can you see that we've got the exclude column on the right hand side? Yes. We've got a remove column, so go really careful for that one. If you tick that and press save, it will remove the image from the product. Okay, but we want the second one across. So let's hide that product image from our Magento website. So I've ticked exclude. If we now press save and continue edit at the top, while that's saving, let's go back to our Magento website and now hit reload. Can you now see that we've got the additional product images which have been added here? There's our lifestyle image, which is coming as image number one, or the main image. And of course, that image has now been set 
So if we go into one of the categories where that product's been included in, you'll see that we're using this image instead of the original image which we had before. So let's click into there. You can also change the ordering of the product images as well. If we go back to our product in the Magento Admin, hover on the product images, and let's say that we want to reorder these, you'll notice that we've got a sort order column here. So where it says sort order, if we wanted this image here to be the last one in the list, so number 10, but we wanted our lifestyle image down at the bottom to now be number two, we can change those numbers like so, and that will change the ordering. If we want to unexclude that product image of that extra chair, untick the box and then click on save and continue edit, go back to the products on your Magento website. So there's two things which we're looking out for here. Number one, this lifestyle image should be in slot number two, and we should also have one additional image for that chair, which we had previously excluded. So let's reload or refresh this page. Excellent. Can you see how that's now been jumped to slot number two? And also that chair image, which we excluded before, is now showing in the list or in the gallery as well. Now, the last step which we're going to show you is how to remove images. And this is really straightforward. Go back, choose the image which you would like to remove. On the right hand side, tick remove underneath the remove column and then press save and continue edit or save at the top. In our case, we're going to click on save. So we go back to the product list. And if we now go back to our Magento website, so right now we've got that image in there. If I now reload or you press refresh on your Magento website, you'll now see that that image is now being removed from our product. Does that make sense, Dave? Yeah, that was all making sense to me. Now, going off the script here a little bit, it is also worth noting that you can import product images into Magento in mass using a tool called MagMe. Now, MagMe is like the Swiss army knife of import tools for Magento. If you'd like to know more about MagMe, nip across to understandingE.com and just search for MagMe in the courses section from the top menu. And we've got a course dedicated to MagMe. And the reason why I mention in that is because on the topic of images, if your suppliers provide a new image URLs, you can import those with Magento and Magento Dataflow. So for example, you're either left with to try and download the images manually. So to go open each link up, right click, download to a folder on your desktop and then manually upload to Magento, or you've then got to then upload them into the right folder in Magento. Whereas that with MagMe, you can just put the suppliers a link to the image. And when you import or update that product in Magento, MagMe will go to that URL, import it in, and you'll be then be able to control your inventory using CSV files. Again, Dave, does that make sense? Yes, totally. Excellent. So for myself, Matt. And for me, Dave. Cheerios. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.